This is episode 79 of the Podcraft Beer Show. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve share their thoughts with you on four craft beers, a Hell's Lager, two Smoothie Sours, and an Imperial Stout with adjuncts. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Just positioning, no worries. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello, hello, hello. And we got a uh, quiver of uh, Boy, different beers here. A quiver. This is, this is quiver. a... I have to remember that. A hodgepodge of beverages that we plan on crushing. We started all local, and we're going to uh, work our way east. Start with that original 40. I like I like starting local and then heading east, too. little crispy boy. I think I'm going to be doing some of that here shortly with my uh, my daughter's graduation. And it's your wife's birthday today. It is. It is. Happy birthday, We're going to celebrate Suzanne. with a, uh, with a, uh, with a lager from uh, Cosimo and Company down there at the original 40 over in North Park. It's so a they, great uh, start. Yeah, we just got this, uh, this crispy boy lager. It's a Hellas Lager coming in at uh, uh, 4.9%. They say it's light, clean, Delicious. crispy. The Germans light lager. It is light. Oh, Just can't beer foul. have nice things. Beer foul. Look how quick uh, Charlie's been holding that uh, those those paper towels down the there for the last... Napkins have been sitting there for six the years. The last two years waiting for that spill to come up. He was, he was quick on the draw. He knew that was coming. I took care of business. Anyways... Mm. Now that you've left yourself with a drop of beer. Uh, I just get to rinse off the inside of that can. <laughs> it's good. This this is I've had these before. Have yep. you? They're delicious. I just had one too. Oh you did? Yeah, just last night. Oh, cool. They're readily available too. Mm-hmm. Valley Farms, Foster Farms, Fraser Farms. Fraser Farms. Everybody's farm. So right on the can, they, they talk about uh, named after the original 40-acre parcel of land that became modern-day North Park. That, yep. Uh, that original 40 there. Right on, uh, what is that, on El Cajon Boulevard? It's on University. University. El Cajon is north of that. It is, yeah. Sure enough, that would be more... Uh, <laughs> that, they're on the same... That'd be north or Yeah, north Park. they would be in the same spot like uh, where... Um, I do believe uh, Tiger Tiger used to be, you know, on the same line. That would be on. Uh, but El Combo. That'd be El Combo. Yeah, they're, they're no they're, longer there though. They're not. It's unfortunate. It's a wonderful place. So what do you think of this? It, it pours a nice uh, golden, nice golden. I can't see. I got my sunglasses <laughs> on because of a. Uh, Your future's so bright. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm telling you, I like it. That's why I bought a, a four pack of it the other day. Just had to have it. Light, tasty. It was a hot day, so I powered down on one of them after golf. Not a bad day. Ah, that's a tasty yeah, little beer. It's really good. We should do it. Um, yeah, I could definitely, uh, you know, I'd like to have that one around. I've been drinking uh, a few lagers this week. Or, or uh, good beers. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's been nice, especially when it's been warm. Yeah, it's been warm. And the second it got warm, it was like, oh, I need more lagers in my drink. <laughs> right. Well, uh, it's yeah. going to get cold here for a couple of weeks. Oh. You see the forecast? No. It's going to get chilly, so stouts will Back be abundant. Sauce. I'm going to drink all Chris's beer first. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> so that's pretty tasty. Nice little yeah. crispy boy. Definitely Big recommend it. light beer. The, uh, uh, the original 40 is wonderful. They've got several really, really good beers. I mean, that whole little section out they're like a block away from North Park, um, What's the uh, bottle craft? And um, there's another brewery. That Hess is right there. I mean, there's a little cool little uh, area of good beers. That's for sure. Big fan. Big fan of Crispy Boy. I like the name too. Yeah, yeah it says here named after the original forty-acre parcel of land that what became modern-day North Park. Was he not listening earlier? I, I think he just blocked you out completely. That's usually mm-hmm. what happens. <laughs> Oh, Chris is talking. Yeah. I, I was taking pictures. Oh, that's right. You were you were being photogenic. I think Charlie had mentioned that one other time about that uh, 
Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't realize it was right on the side of his can. I thought Charlie was being uh, oh, that he had done nostalgic. Yeah, I, I looked at something. <laughs> <laughs> He's no, like, I, I'm not he there. Was, he was in reading all the uh, the beer cans uh, at, uh, at at original the, the, the forty. Store. Yeah, he's like, oh look at this. F- found this out today. Yeah, all my information comes from beer. Cans. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really tasty beer. Though. I'm, yeah. There you go. Not much more to say other than you know just your your. Uh, I mean, it's a good lager though. Yeah, it's a good lager. I'd certainly uh, certainly keep that guy around. Oh, we got we got a little. Uh, Little uh, Wiley Roots coming up here. Wiley Roots Brewing. It's a visit from the Fruit Lady. Strawberry banana. Let's pour Steve a little taste aroma. Oh, whoa! Hello. Look out! Fruits flying. Good thing I had the glasses on. <laughs> yeah, you scratch your cornea. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a painful route to go on a Saturday morning. I laid in bed the majority of the day. <laughs> um, yeah. So this Wiley Roots. This came to me. Uh, Via loyal listener Jim asked us if we'd uh, we'd try some of these. Good old Jim. Mm. So these uh, Jimmy these, Johnson. There he is. So these old boys are in Greeley, uh, Greeley, Colorado. Colorado. Nice. Yep. So this. Uh, Ooh, it smells fantastic. Mm. So a visit from the bananas. fruit lady. It's a smoothie style, unpastured fruit style stour with uh, with, with pureed strawberries and and bananas. Ooh, that's a drinker, boys. Let me tell you. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for uh, <laughs> no crap, Jim, huh? I, I believe he has. Uh, Jim had a little unfortunate accident while we were um, on a boat this summer, <laughs> and he uh, we had launched this boat. And he kicked his colon. Yeah, so he was uh, he was rather uncomfortable for days. <laughs> <laughs> the. Uh, he had numerous, like, numerous names for him. I got point. a lot of laughs out of it. Yeah, <laughs> we all did. <laughs> but I was pretty banged up, too, except my colon wasn't fractured. Yeah, there you go. That was funny. I was the only one that walked away from that boat crash. You were skate. in the front seat. I was in the back seat. No. Yes, I was. I, I was all been the way in the back. Seat. I, was all, I was in the part of the boat that didn't get 18 feet Airborne. off Airborne, of yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. I thought we were going to flip this boat. Oh, uh, really? Well. Yeah, it was... Uh, I thought the bottom was going to break out because my back was we were all hurting for a while i'm like do it again these guys are like let me swim back yeah i jumped out of the thing as soon as possible so what do you think of that that is fantastic uh, coming at us out of Greeley. uh, a a visit from the fruit lady strawberry and banana Mm. they got the uh the old fruit lady sitting in there strawberry and bananas are good anytime you can that is a really good combination anytime you can mix that together i'm in man I feel like I kind of got kind of overdone on the old uh, the the slushies there for a minute. You know, I mean, I think everybody was kind of kind of putting them out, just jamming anything in there. Yeah, um, but that's really really tasty. I don't know why. Um, I really don't know why, but I mean, it was a thing for a minute, and uh, now not so much. But this is a good good uh, little drawback for us. Yeah, I'm a fan. Punch of Punch it out. Good to go. <clears throat> there. Um, have you guys been to this bird? I'd never heard of them. I have not. I, I had not heard of them. Wiley Root. Well, maybe I have heard because I've seen that that right there before on the can. That little their little beer. Their logo. Name. But I didn't, I definitely didn't know they were in Greeley because I've been through Colorado plenty of times, and if I'd have known they were there and they were kicking out beverage like that, I would have grabbed a few. So. All right. Yeah, the we have another beer from them as well, so we'll kind of get a, a, a little bigger, uh, you know, taste of the the whole go around. But um, no, yeah, they uh, and they, they have some pretty pretty interesting sounding beers, right? The old Shake Shack. Let's see, they got a uh, looks like they do a lot of uh, um, you know kind of smoothie style. Um, hmm. Did we do this one before? This Hydra spill. I know we did Hydra something, but that was a uh, uh, Mortalus, though, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, I don't know that we've. Uh... Okay, good, good. I didn't want to, didn't want to double up. That would be unfortunate. So, what did you guys drink this week? I had something from Catch. What'd you have? Doctor Bill Heimer's Magic Pilsner. I saw that at yeah. uh, Fraser Farms. Yep. Yeah. 
How was it? It was great. Excellent. Got a great photo of it with our little logo on it. Oh, yeah. Nicely yeah. done. It's, it was crisp. Nice. I didn't... Uh, Highly recommended. I saw it as... I think that's where I got the Crispy Boy is from, from them. So that's what I bought. What about you, Tiger? Uh, the best beer that I had this week, I stopped in. I, I had to swing down to North Park to... Uh, to pick a bottle up that was was coming due, um, and they did this. Uh, I like the one that says "Some Pulp" is the name of it. It's a double uh, hazy IPA uh, that they they collabed with Magnify Brewing out of out of New Jersey. Hmm. Hmm. This thing was a banger. It was so tasty. It was really you know I'm not a big fan of like the, the hazy IPAs, but usually when I go down to North Park, I just ask you know I play a little Dealer's Choice with them, and that had just came out Wednesday the day hmm. that I went down there. It was phenomenal. Um, you know, they, uh, um, yeah, it was great. Uh, triple dry hopped hazy double IPA with mosaic incognito, mosaic cryo, mosaic cashmere, and strata hops. It was good. It was Sounds really, really good. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, they, uh, I think it just released on Wednesday. And I'm trying to get to the, uh, you know, I got to get to the bottom of some of these stouts before I start stacking up with some IPAs. But no, it was really, really tasty. Hey, you know, during this cold snap that we're going to have, how about we how about we do Stout Fest again? Ooh. I'm going to have to. We got to get rid of some of these beers. Ah, on to the next. What do we got here? We have Hydra Spill from Urban South out of Houston, Texas. Ooh, that smells woody. Whoa, look at that color. Check it's out like the video. It, and get it a looks chance. like um, butternut squash color. <laughs> it smells juicy. So I'm dumping it in. Uh, so this was the Hydra spill. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So this um, this Hydra spill. It's a fruit and sour brewed in collaboration with uh, Urban South. Uh, blends passion fruit, mango, marshmallows, lactose, ice cream together uh, wow. uh, to form this. Form just one of this monster's many heads. Keep your eyes peeled for even more flavor combinations. So it looks like this is kind of their uh, this Hydra uh, is you know is their their smoothie sour and then they, they adjunct it with whatever, whatever well, fruits. It smells really fruity, but it tastes fantastic. I mean, the taste is much better. Super fruity. You said it had ice cream in it. Uh, they say, um, "Wow, that good." That was really good. Passion fruit, mango, marshmallow, and lactose-free ice cream. There you go. They're taking the lack out. Mm. Dump it. Let me see it pour, brother. It does not taste like alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> What's the ABV on this? 7% in mm. this old boy. So what do we have? We had like 4.9 on the, uh, the first one, crispy. Yep. The crispy boy. Those old boys in... Uh, they don't like to put uh, their their alcohol rating, and, and the untapped actually said zero for alcohol rating on mm. this strawberry banana. It's all right. And I, I think we're ten point eight on the final one. Back uh, back to beers we had. I didn't have any beers this week. Seriously? Yeah. I just didn't drink a beer. I wanted to. I bought some, but I didn't drink it. Mm. So I'm sorry that I let you two down again. <laughs> But I'll try and make it up this week. (laughs) Yeah. And, uh, I mean, there were several that I had to choose from. But uh, I just went right along without it. I'm okay. Don't worry. Mm. That right there. It's all right. Yeah, it's really good. It's better than most, I'll tell you that. Yeah, those old boys at uh, Mortalis, they're... uh, And then Urban South, like... uh, um, you know, I was just I was just up with Ryan, and he's like he swears by that brewery. That's one of his favorite breweries. We're gonna, we're gonna motivate on down to Houston. Roll I don't, in I don't there. know if there's much else going on in Houston. No, there's urban South and pollution. Maybe <laughs> I don't. That's just when I look at a picture of Houston, I just think hot. Uh, yeah, I, I was there one time. I picked up a vehicle there years ago. Sticky, super humid. Mm-mm-mm. What do you think of that, Charlie? I'm glad. I think I have a couple more of those. Pretty sure. Oh, that's, that's super thick. Yeah. Like that mango. The, I mean, find, I mean, all the fruits come through. I think it's really that mouthfeel. Look at that lacing on the side of the glass. Mm-hmm. just leaves behind. Yeah, uh, I know. Lacing? That's like shutters, dude. Yeah. That's like thick. Mm-hmm. 
perfect beer for somebody who says they don't like beer. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. let me show you something. Yeah, no. Here you go. Here's your morning breakfast mm. smoothie. That is like a smoothie. Yeah. I hope that's what those smoothies at that gym we go to taste like. <laughs> when that happens, we'll find out. We'll bring one of those in and say, can you make this? Exactly. That would be what to, what it's all about right there. Yeah. No, that's super tasty. That's, that's it just certainly doesn't, you don't taste any alcohol. And that certainly doesn't taste like 7%. No, not at all. It's dangerous 7% there. Drink three of those and you're good night. Are we interested in uh, jumping to get, the stout? Let's do it. Have you guys been to Mortellus? No. Nope. Have not. I bought their beer before. Mm -hmm. Are you bought in New York? Yeah. They're, they've done uh, beers with the other half, Urban South, and uh, they, they've made a beer with Mostra coffee in it. Mm. And that's how I found out about them. They say it's Mortalis. I say it's Mortalis. Mm. I think it's Mortalis. Yeah, whatever. What would they know? Yeah. yeah. They just named it. <laughs> I they, just about, put, they just put letters together. And, I knew, a, I knew a, a brewery that called itself Who Farted. So. Yeah? That used to be your favorite, didn't it? Charlie? Yeah, what's well, my favorite one to say? That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's definitely my favorite one to say. Gosh, so these guys are like kind of upstate New York, huh? Yeah, well, they're not in the city, I don't think. Yeah, no, for sure they're not. They're up by Buffalo, up by Rochester. Holy wow. cow. They're out in the sticks. They are in the sticks. Halfway between, like, man, they're close to Lake Ontario. Where are they at? Uh, well, in between. In so be here would be Buffalo, and this is Rochester, New York. And yeah. they're by. Uh, on the, near the map, Cooperstown? Um, they're only a, like a thumbs width away from, like, uh, uh, Rochester. Uh, they're, you know, like a thumbs, like my thumbs width on the map. I don't know where that is. Mm -hmm. I don't know where. Uh, <laughs> That's got to be at least 500 miles, isn't it? Probably. No, it's, I don't know. Did I tell you about the time I was driving around it's up like there? It's like only a half an inch. When I went to play baseball? map of the U.S. Mm. Play baseball at Cooper, or, uh, Double Day Field in Cooperstown mm. with, uh, with an adult men's league. That's cool. And uh, <laughs> we show up there, and the funniest part about it is I got in, I took a red eye, so I flew out of uh, uh, San Diego at like 8 or 9 p.m. or whatever. Well, nah, it couldn't have been that late. Anyway, so I land in New York City and it's uh, it's 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, or 10 or 11 at night. I fly to Syracuse, New York, and it's after midnight. Mm -hmm. And all the rental car places are, I mean, Syracuse, New York is a tiny, it's not a very big airport, okay? All the rental car places are closed except for one. I think it was budget or something. And I'm like, what? You know, I rented a car from uh, these guys, and he goes, oh, they left hours ago. <laughs> I'm like, what? How can this happen? He goes, I just said, tell me tell me you have a car for me. And he goes, yeah, I got one car. I'm like, I'll take it. I don't care what it is. It could be a Yugo. I don't care. <laughs> you know? So I got to drive from Syracuse to Cooperstown, which is like two hours drive. So it's raining. It's, you know, 1 o'clock in the morning by this time. And I get there, and I pull into Cooperstown. And I'm just cruising along. I'm half asleep, you know. And the volunteer fire department siren goes off. And I'm on a railroad track. I'm crossing a railroad track. I thought it was a train was running me over at the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> just freaked me out, you know. But I uh, had a great time there. But uh, Cooperstown, yeah. Oma Gang. Went to Oma Gang. Is that where they're at? Yeah. Well, they're just outside of that. But, yeah, there's two breweries. There's a Miller's. Not like Miller Brewing, but a Miller's Brewery, which is, is kind of a family-run thing, I guess. And then Omegang. And uh, Omegang was great. And uh, But also, uh, the uh, Anheuser-Busch family lives there. Hmm. Uh, Augustus, um, I think it was Augustus Bush or whatever. And uh, they have a big, you know, estate with hops growing all over the place that was pretty cool but <laughs> the best part about that thing was all the memorabilia in town and i bought a shirt that says cooperstown he was it's a what is it it's a 
It's a drinking. It's a drinking town with a baseball problem. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, we're on. To, we got on the final. We're final. This is uh, a Wiley Roots Brewing again out of uh, what was it? Uh, Avon. No, no, no it's uh, Greeley. Greeley. There you go. And this is a stout. Look at that. Oh, we're flowing. Look at that pour, dude. Oh, you yeah. don't get much of that better. Look at that. So, yeah, it looks like uh, this uh, muffinberry monster. Uh, this is an imperial stout with blueberries, cinnamons, and uh, cinnamon and graham crackers. I think they ruined it with the cinnamon mice, if you want to hear my personal opinion on it. I guess we're about to find out. I'm expecting. I can something. smell blueberry from here. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. Smell Give me some of them blueberry pancakes. No, shut it. Keep her coming, Slim. What are you waiting for? Perfect. Poured professionally. So, yeah, you certainly, like Steve had mentioned, across the table you can smell the, the blueberries coming through this. Uh, That's this beer. cinnamon, man. It's killing it. Little. It's super carbonated for a stout, let me tell you, man. Yeah, no, it certainly. Uh, Does it say nitro on it? Nope. Nitroless. It's. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, cinnamon. Cinnamon killed it. You're For not me. a big fan of that cinnamon, no, Charlie? No, it, it's it's like a bad cigar almost. Mm. Almost. That's mm. unfortunate. It smells great. Just the, the cinnamon. I mean, you, it it has to be limited. Mm. We should we should. You know, I was thinking after my first drink, Steve. Boycott. Not enough cinnamon in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with Charlie. I think it gives it a weird flavor. It's overpowering. Yeah, it does kind of. You know. Cinnamon can be used, just but like, it just it, it if it's overdone, it's overdone. This is like trying to hide something with cinnamon, you know, like yeah. a foul taste of, with cinnamon. It does kind of have a weird kind of cinnamon <laughs> taste to it. I don't know that it mixes very well with the blueberries in there. You know? No, I could pop a blueberry right now that we would be quite pleased with. This might be the last blueberry beer I ever drink. No, it isn't. Okay, okay. That's not a bad deal. I'll just keep all those ones you got in the garage. <laughs> How'd you like my little comeback when you said, pay up? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> On the bet we made that you, no. you let me out of. I didn't think I let you out of it. I think you did. I you said you'd, you'd take my shaking of my hand for the loss of my beers. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. No, it doesn't, but I tried. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That certainly doesn't sound like me, Charlie. <laughs> Let you out of that bet. Well, I said you could have any beers in the boxes that are to the left of the garage. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Those, those are all yours. Yeah, I don't know what I, uh, you know, I don't know that this is really what I'm looking for in a stout, you know? It's, it's overcarbonated and there's too much cinnamon. That's, the top, that's their only problem. Trust me, you knock off that carbonation, you knock off that cinnamon, this might be a great beer. It smells pretty good. Doesn't it smell like a cigar, though? It smells great. It smells like mm -hmm. a blueberry muffin. Yeah, when, when you, you open it, it like, up, it was like a blueberry hand grenade went on. Yeah, like it's certainly, uh, I think I had a little higher expectations. Than oh, Mr. Hydra running berry. back to the uh, fruited one, huh? Yeah, yeah cl cleanse my good palate. Good choice. Well, so, boys, we had... Uh, we had the four different beers. We had the original 40, the crispy berry. We had the strawberry banana, a little uh, visit from the fruit lady. We had the mortalis, the, the hydra spill. I want to hear I want to hear Steve's. The hydra spill was the best. That was a good beer, yeah. huh? Okay. And then I probably go back to the crispy fruit boy. Lady, the crispy fruit lady. Boy. Oh, and the fruit yeah. lady after that. And Just because I, I really liked it. Yeah. Yeah, the, the hydra was a heck, a heck of a lot more like. Um, slushy, you know, it was like a, it was like a breakfast uh, slushy, right? Well, they both were. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the the flavor came through more on the the mortalis. The banana think, one though. was banana and strawberry. It was good. Yeah, yeah well, I think those two fruits are well blended. This one you can taste a lot of the mango in it. Yep, you can definitely smell the mango in it. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. But it, I'm gonna <clears> shock you guys. I think the stout was the best. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, I think I think I'm gonna go the um, fruit lady followed by the mortalis. I, I really like how just mellow that one was. Yeah. Um, and then the the lager followed by uh, the muffin berry. So I'm gonna go. Um, I'm not even mentioning the muffin berry. Wiley uh, mortalis 
uh, original 40. Now I'm going to have to go up to Greeley and straighten these guys out. Straighten them out, Charlie. Mm-hmm. I'll let them know you're coming. <laughs> I'm bringing a blueberry stout up there that's going to kick them in the face. It's going to knock their socks mm-hmm. off. I, be- I is believe there a, it will. Is that a Horace? Yeah. That's the only Horace. There's not too many blueberry stouts people are kicking out, you mm-hmm. know. Is it hard to mix with, do you think? Hard to mix? Is it just hard to use? Is it hard ingredient? Well, stouts, to make them really good, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously he's on a different level. Yeah, I mean, there's there's just nobody that is. I mean, the Wakefield. Um, I'm trying to think of other stouts that I've had. Uh, uh, What's the place in Iowa? Topling Goliath. Yeah. Well, they have several stouts that are good, but that ain't their main dig, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I think Aslan uh, does some really good stouts, but he's he's just on a different level. I mean, he is not in the same. Charlie's a big fanboy. Pocket mm-hmm. book that uh, the rest of these characters are. Not financial wise, but they're, they're, his are elite compared to most of them. So, I mean, you're not, I mean, even Modern Times makes a ton of stouts, but they are not on the level of. Oh, mm-hmm. Modern Times calls in half their buildings. Wow. I know, I'm it's sorry. tragic. I, you know, but then again, I say, hey, you know, did you push it too far, too fast? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, part of that is, like, people want to drink local, you know? Yeah. Um, and, you know, like, I, although I'm, like, I'm happy to try beers other places. You, when you look at my fridge, the majority of what I have in my fridge is local beers. You know, they're beers, like, that are that are mm-hmm. here in town, or certainly the four-packs I buy or whatever are from, from around town. So, when I can see that, like, you have a tough time, like, I mean, that's, that's a lot of ground to cover. That, that, that's all the way up the coast. Yeah. It's a big, it's a big run up the coast. I mean, that's the thing. That was their thing is to expand, and expanding is good if you have, you know, the revenue mm-hmm. coming in. But if you're not, if people aren't coming, especially in L.A., I mean, they shut everything down there. So, mm-hmm. I don't know how those people even stayed afloat, to be honest with you. Any of those breweries. If people couldn't go there and they could just buy there, that's what people want to do. They want to go there and drink, have the experience. I mean, anybody can go buy beer and bring it home. Yeah, and that's what we do best. It's unfortunate <laughs> that they, uh, um, but you know, but they weren't brewing at those locations, right? They were, yeah. They're they brewing were? a lot of their IPAs. They were brewing up in uh, Portland, Portland, right? Yeah, and then they they were brewing in. Um, I don't know that they were brewing in Santa Barbara, but they were in Oakland and mm. um, Portland, and then they Oakland. Mm-hmm. I didn't know they were in Oakland. Yeah, they yeah they were in Oak. They closed the Oakland, Portland, Santa Barbara, and. Uh, they kept the one in Anaheim. Anaheim, yeah. That they is. kept that one. So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so they kept the the two in San Diego, right? 30th Street, and then up in Encinitas, and then, you know, Point Loma, and then um, Anaheim. Wow. Yeah. When they said Point Loma, I was like, I didn't, re- I mean, it, for me, I, their location is sports arena. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> Loma Land. <laughs> it's, it's not, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely the, sports arena. Yeah. District. It's the north, north, north part of Point Loma. Yeah, almost not. In it's Point as Loma. soon as you get there, <laughs> yeah. it's there. <laughs> All right, I like gentlemen. It. I like it. Until next week, boys. Cheers. 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 We hope you have enjoyed today's show. If you would like to subscribe to this show via your favorite podcast player application, then head over to the Podcraft.com website and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures and videos of all the beers we try, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us direct feedback and to connect with us on social media. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve, signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a super awesome rest of your day. Podcraft Beer Show podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2022. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email the podcast at gmail.com. 
Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed in this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.